Hello everybody, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Today's video, I'm taking you step-by-step -step on how to decorate the perfect Christmas tree for this holiday season. So let's get started. So before you can take a Christmas tree out of the box, first thing that you really should take in consideration is the placement of your Christmas tree. I feel like that people tend to put their Christmas tree in the same spot year after year because they did it once, it worked, and so they just keep doing it year after year. But I encourage you, really stop, think, look around your room. How can you reimagine your Christmas tree, the placement of your Christmas tree, so that way it's different and it feels new and exciting, even if you don't buy any new decor, ornaments, whatever it may be. Really see, can you move chairs in your couch, whatever it may be, around to put your Christmas tree in a new spot? Now, I personally ended up putting the Christmas tree where I've always put it, but I did consider putting it in a different spot, and I did like it in that spot, but you will see in this video why I ended up choosing to put this Christmas tree here in this spot. Once you have chosen the placement of your Christmas tree, the next step to take is the prep work. prep work again take your time with the prep work this really helps it so that your Christmas tree and your decorations and everything looks really good in the end result if you take the time to do the proper prep work This prep work may include rearranging your furniture, moving stuff around to make room for the Christmas tree. I also encourage that the Christmas tree, try to have it in a spot that doesn't feel cluttered and crowded and squished in some random corner. Try to give it space to breathe, have it its own moment. You really want your Christmas tree, wherever it is in the room, to be so you can see it from all spaces of where you walk in. You want it to stand out, you want it to be a wow factor, not squished in a corner where it's not really seen and visible. And once you have your furniture rearranged, I go in and give it a quick clean. I know I'm gonna get pinning this over the place, but I know when I moved the furniture around, there was definitely some extra things, and it was a, definitely a little dirty because it's not something I clean under every day. I went ahead and I uh, cleaned the windows. I wiped down the windowsill and the baseboard. I also did vacuum and mop the floor, so that way everything is nice and clean, so that we have a fresh blank slate to work with before bringing in the Christmas tree. Now that your space is cleared and it's all cleaned and ready for the Christmas tree, it's time to bring it in so we can move on to the next step, which is fluffing your Christmas tree. Something that I tend to see people do when they are setting up the Christmas tree is they put the whole thing together and then they just fluff it, but then they're really only getting the outer edges and they're not really getting into the tree and fully filling it out. If you want your Christmas tree to look as realistic and grand and luxurious and look like the image on the box. Definitely pay attention to these next few steps. These are the steps I take every single year that I follow every year that really help make my tree look as full and realistic as possible. So what I recommend is assembling the base, the first section of the Christmas tree, and sending it down, not quite if it's gonna go against the wall, make sure you move it away from the wall, that way you can get around the entire Christmas tree. But each row is color coordinated, so I'm gonna start with the first row, and I make sure that the whatever branch I'm working on, the branches above are pushed up, that way I can get to it the uh, easiest. But I'm gonna start in the back and working my way front, about to the side, one up, to the side, one up. Now, if there is four branches in like a section, I kind of do two to the side, one up, one down. And I continue this step, this whole process throughout 
the entire row and the rest of the Christmas tree and I make sure that I stagger each branch. That way I'm really maximizing the space trying to fill it in as much as possible. And then when I move on to the ne branches next to it, I do the same thing, just making sure that the branches intercourse. That way if there is a gap, I move a branch to fill in that gap. Here, I'm just trying to show you what it looks like to have the first row fluffed without having the row above it. You can see how the one above is squished and the row below is filled out, taking up more space and how much nicer it looks versus the row above. And then I'm showing you what it looks like with both rows fluffed now. You can see how the branches in a course together and how overall it looks really full and nice. So once the first section is all fluffed, I'll then go ahead and add on the second section, repeating those steps, making sure that I blend the first two rows together, again, rearranging the branches so the inner course together, making sure to fill in any gaps that may occur to really give it as much, to try to fill it out as much as possible and give it as much of a realistic look as possible. I hope. Here, I'm trying to give you a close-up of what exactly I am doing, and as you can see, I'm really opening up those branches and moving them to where, if there's a gap, try to push them in that gap to fill in that gap. Again, trying to really fill out that tree and make it all look really nice and cohesive at the end. And then lastly is the small little section to add on top of the tree. I recommend fluffing it, having it in your hands, in your lap, because this way it's much more accessible than putting it on top of a Christmas tree where you have to reach high up, where your arms can get sore. So having it in your lap makes it much more easier to just quickly fluff it in your hands and then put it on top and then going in and blending the sections so it all looks good. the Christmas tree is completely fluffed, you can step back and tweak it some more, but I actually will hold off and I encourage you to hold off on your final tweaking of the Christmas tree because next we're going to talk about adding in lights and adding in lights tends to mess up the branches and after I add in the lights, I will then go in and do my last final tweaking and fluffing of the Christmas tree. So since my Christmas tree is not pre-lit, I first went in with a regular chain of lights, wrapping them all the way down the Christmas tree, making sure they're tucked and I don't want them on the very edges because I really don't want to see the cord. So I make sure to tuck them in pretty well. But then once I get down to the bottom, I, try to, I do bring them out a little more to the front since that area is definitely a thicker bunch and it's kind of hard to see the lights when they're tucked all the way in the back. I also recommend you to really help give your tree a brighter, and nicer glow is add a strand of bigger bulbs and really tuck these into the Christmas tree because then that will really bring out a bigger pop of a light that will come deep within the Christmas tree adding a really nice glow and if your Christmas tree is pre-lit I still recommend you do this as well this again will really help bring out the Christmas tree adding a really nice glow and um, kind of high-end look to the Christmas tree. And then the last lighting tip I have for you guys is add twinkle lights. This will add such a magical Christmas glow and twinkle to the Christmas tree. This will really help your Christmas tree come to life. I added one strand kind of deep within the tree, so there's a twinkle within the Christmas tree. And it just looks so, so magical and festive. And it's just a perfect little touch to add to the Christmas tree. Now that all my lights are into the Christmas tree, this is where the perfectionist comes in me. Because this is where I'm going to step back really see if I need to tweak any branches, try to get it all nice and fluffed and perfect as I possibly can get it. I also tend to rearrange the um, placement of the strand of lights just because sometimes the 
gap between each row of lights can be a little off. So this is where I really want to go in and just make sure that I can get everything as perfect as I can possibly get it before moving on to the next step, which is adding in the ornaments and the ribbon and all of the fun pieces. Now, if you're somebody like me and you like to add a ribbon, this is the step to add ribbon. Now, this definitely took me some time to make sure that I had the placement and everything right. So just take your time with it until you get it into a position that you like. If you're also somebody who likes to add in picks, this is then I, I would then go in and add picks after adding in the ribbon. Once the ribbon is in place, I'm gonna start going in with some small uh, ornaments that are just plain colored that are in my color palette so that I start adding deep within the Christmas tree. I recommend you put ornaments really deep within the Christmas tree because this really helps fill out the Christmas tree. And when you're looking at the Christmas tree, you can just see that ornaments are nicely tucked deep within the Christmas tree and not just sitting on the very edge. Really, I really encourage you to try to put them some on the very tip, some kind of in the middle, and really putting them deep within the Christmas tree. Again, really helps fill out the Christmas tree and give it a really nice high end look to the Christmas tree. smaller ornaments that are tucked within the Christmas tree. I then start adding on all of, like the rest of like the bigger ornaments and medium ornaments, just all those like organic ornaments that are kind of within the color palette. So like I have these kind of ornaments that I add throughout onto the Christmas tree. And this is like the majority of the ornaments for this Christmas tree. Now I do have other Christmas trees where I have regular bulbs like this and have much more like special random knickknack ornaments, which if you have ornaments like that, I then, that's like the last Kind of stuff I uh, suggest you add is after adding in like the rest of the um, ornaments, kind of adding in the special ornaments where you just maybe have one of the kind, maybe have like a set of four or something like that. This is what I uh, suggest you add those after you kind of add in all your base filler ornaments. All your ornaments in the Christmas tree. If there's any sort of gaps still left on the Christmas tree, if you're somebody like who has, likes to add in like big objects like a sign or reindeer or maybe like really big bells, I then suggest adding those in to kind of like really fill out the Christmas tree. Again, giving it a more high end look to the Christmas tree. And to finish off the Christmas tree, adding on that tree topper, whether that's an angel, a star, a bow. This year I put a bow on the Christmas tree. It's my first time doing it and I'm really happy with it. You could also add in a cluster of picks, really whatever suits your fancy. I'm also going to add a Christmas tree skirt to the bottom. This could be a traditional Christmas tree skirt like I have here. You could have a blanket they have laying around. I know they also have this like Christmas tree collars that look kind of like a basket or like galvanized material. Really, again, whatever suits your fancy to really finalize the look of this Christmas tree. Alright you guys, that is everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and were able to get some tips and tricks and got inspired for the next time you go to decorate your Christmas tree. And I'm just going to say here, I'm not necessarily recommend you go out and buy a bunch of stuff. I did buy some new stuff a year ago, but that's because I've had the same stuff for a very long time. And But now, this is my second year reusing this stuff and I love it so, so much. So I encourage you Try to use what you have, but just try to reimagine the way. And if you take these tips and tricks and apply them to your Christmas tree, I guarantee you it's going to be the best looking Christmas tree you have ever had.
guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. This is the second episode in my Christmas holiday series for 2022. I have so many videos coming your way, so definitely subscribe so you do not miss out on any of those videos by clicking that notification bell. And I'm going to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!